Okay, so let's now look at how we can provide access to the internet using OSPF. Access to the internet is usually uh, using default route, which is the address of all zeros with a mask zero. So for the argument's sake, let's say we control access to the internet, who is accessing the internet on internet one. So that's our gateway of last resort. This is the router connected to the internet. Let's emulate that first. So I'm going to jump to router int one and I'm going to say that let's just say interface is zero zero. This interface will be connected to the internet. Description internet. Internet, if I could spell that. IP address on this one will be 192.8899, let's say 1. So, for the argument's sake, let's just imagine that this interface, show run interface 00, is a connection to the service provider which gives us access to the internet to our cloud. So, it, to do that on a sin, single box on this router internet one is the command static route ip route all zeros with a mask all zeros pointing to 192 let's say 8899 let's say 8899 was 2. so it is in the same so do show ip route 192 uh, 8899 let's say 2. The outgoing interface is Ethernet 0 because it has IP address in the same subnet or network. So, obviously, that is good because now int1 router has access to the Internet using static route. Actually, let's go for, for this first. So... This is a gateway of last resort set up on Internet 1. So this router here now knows how to reach the Internet. However, no one else knows how to get there because it's a static route configuration on single router, Internet 1. If I go to R1, do show IP route, do you know how to reach the, the, the default route? No, it doesn't. So show IP route. The gateway of last resort is not set. So now we can engage OSPF and ask OSPF to distribute information as to what device in our network is the gateway of last resort, which is Internet 1. So we will be doing this command on Internet 1. The command to do that is here. So, obviously, router 2, same thing situation. There's gateway plus result is not set. Okay. So, let's go back to Internet 1 and make this happen. So, since I have this default route already in there, all I have to do is just go to the routing process in MOSBF and tell everybody else that I am a default uh, gateway towards the Internet with default hyphen information originate command. When I hit enter, what's going to happen, this router is going to use OSPF to tell everybody else who the gateway of last resort is. So if I go back here to R1, it is already receiving that information. Let's see that happen. So let's just maybe clear my terminal. Do show IP route. And here we go. We are receiving external type 2 route here default route, which is the next stop 10.1.10.254, which is my Internet 1 here, 10.1.10.254. So, if I send the pin packet to 192, let's say, um, 8899.1, which is the connection on Internet 1, I can get there. If I go further down the road, let's say R3, let's see R3 if it knows. So it should be receiving this via OSPF, so I can say also show IP route OSPF to see that. And the default route is the next hub is router 1, 10.1.13.1. 10.1.13.1 is here. So everybody knows now how to reach the internet. So if I do ping, ping 192.8899.1, if I do trace, to that same address, so 192.8.8.9.9.1, one, 
I'm going through router one and hitting that. If I go further down, so everybody who's running OSPF is now receiving that information. So if I go back to, let's say, switch one, which is running OSPF here as well, as far as I can remember, show IP protocols. Yes, it does. Show IP route OSPF. The gateway of last resort is also, you know, received. This is external type two route pointing to that particular box. Now, 10, 1, 2, 2, 5, 4. Let's go back here. 10, 1, 2, 2, 5, 4. So my gate of last resort is R3. R3 uses R1. R1 uses Internet 1. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. So if I do trace route here um, to 192, 192, 88991, it goes to router 3 here. It goes to router one, obviously here, and it gets to this interface on int one. So default information originates as soon as the the router has section OSPF. As soon as the router has a static route, this command default information originate is going to work.